So this talk is going to be a bit different. Uh, reverse engineering. I took this from a textbook on mil uh, political military counter deception. I've been reading this book a lot over the past four years. <clears throat> reverse engineering. Reverse engineering is a recent term. It was coined in or soon before 1973 to mean to take something apart and analyze how it works. Hi, Celeste. To reverse engineer the Earth. Check it out. You separate the Earth's components and you reverse engineer it. You figure out how did these components get to how they are and what processes were required to make the Earth form as it currently is. You essentially have to reverse engineer the plants to understand where they were at in a previous stage of evolution. The same with Jupiter. Jupiter is one of the largest objects, except for the sun, that we can reverse engineer uh, to study um, the processes involved in its evolution. But a prime example is the story, story time. A prime example of reverse engineering a weapon system is how the Soviet Air Force developed its Tupolev Tu-4 Bull long-range bomber. Between July and November 1944, Four USAF Boeing B-29 Superfortress, Superfortress strategic bombers, crippled by flak during bombing runs over Japan, diverted to the Soviet Far East. One landed virtually intact, two were seriously damaged, and one crashed after its crew bailed. As the USSR was not yet at war with Japan, these aircraft and their crews were interned. The crews were soon returned, but their planes were kept. Stalin ordered a, a Soviet strategic bomber capacity. He gave the Soviet aviation industry top priority, but demanded mass production within two years. The Soviet engineers met this high pressure schedule, but only by copying the American B-29. Indeed, by disassembly, copying each 100, 120,000 of its 120,000 parts, including those of the giant engines, and reverse engineering their assembly. A joke, possibly even true, was that they even copied an old aluminum patch on the fuselage of the least damaged plane. The only differences were that the machine guns were replaced with cannon and the pilot's instruments were relabeled in Russian. By similar ingenuity, following Communist China's split with the Soviet Union in 1960, the Red Chinese reverse engineers Guo Chen Yuhua, I think, <laughs> I can't speak Chinese, uh, several Soviet weapon systems, including the Tu-28 bomber, MiG-21 fighter, and ICBM R-7, and three types of submarine. Another example involved Apple's release of, in its 2007 of its new iPhone. Among the thousands who waited in the line to buy the first ones were techs whose, tore down, whose teardown quickly became or revealed its clever design and the resources or and the sources of its several disguised components. That's what we need to do. For those who are listening, Daniel Orshaw, I know you're going to write another paper. Uh, keep in mind, to understand nature, look at it as something being the end result of another process all entirely. Reverse engineer how that object got to how it is. Uh, similar to, you know, uh, an, an acorn growing or um, a fetus in the womb. We didn't form as we are. Um, Earth didn't form as is. There were processes that were required to form Earth in various stages of its own evolution. We have to reverse engineer the Earth. We have to take the outer layers and dig deeper and deeper and deeper and figure out which portions of those stars were the first portions to form and work our way uh, inside out. And that is the essence of what it means to be a a reverse engineer, I guess. Um, I just wanted to share that with my listeners because that's that's how I'm thinking about this theory development. It's very, very different than what the establishment does. They just clump rocks together in outer space without any mechanism, without any heat, without any pressure. It's 1800s nonsense. But um, like uh, the late uh, Stanton T. Friedman says, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm just going to paraphrase here. It was more or less like um, technological improvements uh, come from doing things differently in unexpected ways. And that's exactly what's happening to me and to my listeners who are also thinking about these issues and solving problems on their own. 
is technological process isn't a linear process. Sometimes it hops and skips and jumps all around. And to hop and skip and jump all around in reference to this theory, uh, I think in reverse engineering the Earth itself and of Mars and of Jupiter is the best, uh, the best avenue of attack. Um, as well, another uh, quote I remember uh, from a, I think it was a Korean Marine general back in the Korean War. He was like, uh, well, we're surrounded on all sides. What do we do now? He said, well, you know, just attack any direction, you'll be making progress. That's what it feels like right now. Any direction that I attack when in development of this theory is going to be progress in the theory. And a lot of, a lot of um, very new things are like that. When something comes up into being for the first time ever, any direction you take is progress. So <laughs> that's why it feels like I'm trying to like put my hands in so many different places. But um, all right, guys, take it easy.